In today's video, we'll be discussing how to install the clean screen into your Game Boy Advance. This guide will assume that you've already followed our disassembly guide and are down to the main motherboard of the console. If not, a link can be found in the description. This kit was designed to be a drop-in replacement for an OEM screen. No modifications are needed to the shell. This kit also has an optional wire-free ribbon cable for the button controls. Despite this, you can still use regular wires for the install. Getting right into it, the first step is to solder the wire-free ribbon cable to the console. Make sure to use flux when you're soldering. Next, we're going to connect the screen and the control PCB. You know it's fully seated when you see the end of the black stripe line up with the board. From here, we'll drop the screen into the shell. It will be a snug fit. If you plan on using this screen in an IPS ready shell, then you'll need to use an alignment bracket with it. The alignment bracket will need slight modifications in order to work with the clean screen. You'll need to cut right where the clean screen control board ends. After you've made that cut, it should fit right into place. Next up is connecting the flux cable for the display to the main control PCB. This is followed by plugging in the flux cable for the buttons that's coming off of the main board. From here, we can also put the main board into the shell. We recommend taking the extra bit of the flex cable and fold it so that the motherboard itself will hold it. Now it's time to connect the main ribbon cable for the display and to finish assembly. And just like that, you finished installing your clean screen by Retro6. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe and check out our wiki in the description.